Is there life after quarantine? Hello Miss Green, how are you today? I'm bit okay Mr. Caveman since quarantine is over. A lot of us currently in the 14 day self quarantine period are thinking, it's just 14 days, things will get back to normal soon. Yes but on one hand, it's good to focus on the immediate, not get ahead ourselves, this will keep us sane. However treating COVID-19 like some sort of a big storm that will eventually blow over is sheer folly, a storm dies down, a pandemic doesn't, its residual impact will haunt us longer than the specter of 9-11 with no sign of the end of the tunnel. Yet in the United States, it's time that we brace ourselves and adjust our expectations. Last night, I got reality check along with Brian Santo, editor-in-chief of E Times. I got on the horn with two EE Time editors in Asia, one in Shenzhen and another in Taipei. They live in the two cities that appear to have gotten the coronavirus under control. It seems talking to them was almost like peering into the future, a glimpse of what our lives might look like six weeks from now. Our reason for contacting our colleagues in Asia was to record our conversation for this week's EE Times on air weekly briefing. Stream the podcast after it goes live on Friday and you will hear what our colleagues had to say about managing life during the crisis. So, how everyone's lives have changed since the COVID-19 outbreak hit me close to home. Yes Mr. Cave we will share to our fellow countrymen a preview of what I took away from the two EE Times on air recording sessions we did Tuesday. Let's start, lesson, one keep everyone we know close to us. While. Recording we saw one another via live video each in our home offices, the session started out with simple, water cooler chit chat, we kidded one another, asked about family and laughed a lot, we didn't know then, but we realized later how important it was to keep each other close at a time like this, even virtually, seeing one another eye to eye was very helpful to our psyche, our back and forth was reassuring, comforting and most important, therapeutic. Although I tend to avoid group conference calls if possible, I found this one refreshing and necessary. When everyone on your team is imprisoned by a shelter-in-place order, this is a highly recommended escape. The number two lesson is we will get through this. Talking to our Asian colleagues reassured us that we can get through the ordeal of staying home for 14 days. They've done it. They didn't die from cabin fever. They learned to cook new dishes and discovered indoor activities like cleaning up. Sure, being ordered by the government rankles most of us, but it's a sacrifice we can get used to, if only for a while, it's critical to stay home, said one of our colleagues in China not just for your own health, but to minimize the risk to others, by that, she really meant, Mr. Caveman don't take it slightly, this is serious, as it turns out, this bit of self-quarantine might be the easiest part of the whole COVID-19 grind. What to do when the quarantine period is over? Several weeks ago, our China colleagues shared their initial euphoria after the ban was lifted. They rejoiced to get back to the office and see their co-workers. They even filmed the traffic as it slowly rebounded on the streets of Shenzhen, calling it a sign of new promise. But today several weeks after returning to work everyone remains on guard. People wear masks not just during the commute but on the job, during lunch not just in the company cafeteria, but also in the restaurants. The two-meter gap is now the norm. Restaurants are open, but they appear to be operating at 50% capacity. Welcome to the new normal. I think we're in it for the long haul. The war against vaccine COVID-19 won't be over soon, not next month or even the month after next. Perhaps not until we will have a vaccine, which experts say could be more than a year from now. One thing about which I worry is the virus impact on global business. In the world where we live, people travel, we circulate, we cross border, the coronavirus unless we stop all trade, all business, the answer is not walls, but vigilance. We are in search of global solutions either. There has no such thing as a foreign virus. It's foolish to have thought that borders have any meaning for viruses. Those who respond poorly to an epidemic is might marry criticism but if you're going to criticize, you better not bungle your own response. Americans need to point at ourselves after squandering the past eight weeks pretending we're somehow impervious, rather than preparing. Yes, this virus needs global solution. While it's true that some quarters in our political spectrum prefer to rail against foreigner we're coping with a virus that's indifferent to ethnicity and nationality, 
closing the gates and vilifying outsiders is pointless in the face of a disease that already has taken in our midst and recognize us no race, color or creed. It's very true Mr. Caveman. Thank you so much for the good conversation. I have learned a lot today about life after quarantine. But before anything else let's invite our audience. Guys if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell so that you will get notified for the next video. Thank you so much guys. We love you and keep safe. It's me Mr. Caveman. Bye. Bye.